Hey, what's up, Lifeball Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the DreamWorks 2006 animated feature film Flushed Away. So hour and a half, roughly. Uh, Hugh Jackman plays voices the character of Rodney. Kate Winslet uh, voices the character of Rita. And then I think Sir Ian McKillen is the voice of the Toad, the bad guy, right? Rodney is this pampered mouse in Kensington, London, Kensington Street in London, excuse me. And he is visited by this sewer rat who then, or sewer mouse, who um, flushes him down the, flushes Ronnie down the drain. And then Ronnie is introduced to the sewer rats, sewer inhabitants. There's slugs, there's snails, there's toads, there's frogs, there's mice, there's rats. Okay, the whole ecosystem's down there. And so then he's getting to learn the, the street urchin lifestyle, if you will, because he's pampered so everybody is lower than him and then the mindset changes when he meets Rita and she is trying to get this ruby back um to you know help pay for her family's you know life and stuff like that but the toad is trying to then flush all of London during a halftime event during this world cup match that everybody all the humans are watching and so then it's a matter of realizing that the ruby is actually glass because it breaks how does then Rita then pay for her family or help pay her family? And so then it's, it's, and then also trying to figure out how to stop the toad from flushing, you know, all of London. So it's just shenanigans along the way, getting a real Ruby from Rodney's uh, human's house after he realizes he wants to stay with them down below, not, you know, stay in the pampered lifestyle because he's by himself. He wants to be with rats. He wants to be with mice, rodents. And so, it's just uh, using the tools amongst them, which is the garbage of humans, as actual weaponry, actual devices, actual technology, to then further the rodents' plans. Everybody lives happily ever after at the end, the toad is defeated, yada yada. Very predictable, it's a kid's film. No real, like, heart life lessons along the way. Like, some most DreamWorks things have, like, that kind of, like, heart element to it. This really was fluffy. It wasn't, like, hearty. Or unless the whole pampered first class to low class citizen kind of a thing. But like, I don't know. It doesn't hit me as much as the other, you know, life lessons along the way, DreamWorks projects that we've talked about recently. It's okay. There's a lot of singing in this of like songs. So it's a jukebox musical um, because it's not music made for the sh for the project itself. So like, I guess it's a musical, but it's not like sung to bring the plot along it's just sung to sing it f for certain moments of ambiance we'll call it a musical it was all right nothing to to write home about i just can't stand this particular type of animation it's really creepy and it's that wallace and gromit kind of and showing the sheep um and chicken run a long gated mouth with the big bulging eyes it just creeps me out it's creeped me out since i was a kid it's just something I don't understand why this particular style of animation, whether it be in the claymation aspect, Chicken Run, Wallace and Gromit, Shaun the Sheep, or then the CGI animation version of the same animation, Flushed Away, Wallace and Gromit, there's a CGI film of that. And then I think there's a CGI Shaun the Sheep as well. That particular production company, who then now works with DreamWorks, I don't know what their company is, uh, the name of the company, and the animation has just creeped me out since the 90s. I don't know how else to explain it. I don't want to watch things about it. But this was on our DreamWorks list. It happened to be streaming on Netflix. We happened to be seeing it. On to the next review. Thanks, Mahalo.